I just realized I have over a thousand wins. And I saw a comment by Bodhi saying that there is a keep I can get. And apparently the keep is particularly rare because it's hard to get like a thousand wins in LMS. Oh, here they are. Tier six keep, 1000 wins. Yes, please. Thank you. So one of the most common comments that I get on any of my NHing or LMS videos is panic. Please make a guide. So that's what we're doing. <laughs> we're going to make a guide. This is going to cater towards both beginners and advanced PKers. Now, I don't want to talk too long in the intro and I want to get straight into it. Rule number one of becoming a great NHer. Make sure you have good hardware. I think it's kind of common sense, but your $5 mouse and $2 mouse pad are just not going to cut it. NHing for the most part is a very click accuracy and speed oriented game. And simply put, if you cannot click accurately because you're limited by your own accessories, then it is time to upgrade. Personally, I've got a super light mouse with core pad skates, as well as the MPC 450 mouse pad. If you're looking for a good budget mouse, then I would recommend getting something like a Viper Mini. As for mouse pad, same thing. You really don't need to get like an Artisan Hien or like a really expensive mouse pad. The mouse pad that I have is only like 30 bucks and it's perfect, like it works really good. Or if you want something with more control, you can get something like a Hyper Fury X. This person on screen right now, his YouTube channel is actually how I pick all of the mice that I try out and all of the mouse pads that I've tried out. And when deciding to get your mouse and mouse pad, I highly, highly recommend that you check out this guy's channel and also do a bit of research yourself to find out the best mouse and mouse pad that you think would be best for you. As for your mouse settings, like your mouse DPI and stuff, mine is set at 200, which is pretty low. But that said, the mouse pad I have is like a core zero material. So it's very, very slick so it kind of like balances out. If you're going to go for a more controlled mouse pad, then you probably want a higher DPI, maybe somewhere between 400 to 800. But ultimately your DPI does not matter that much at all. It's just personal preference. Like all of the stuff that I'm mentioning here is pretty much personal preference. The point that I'm trying to make is you do need to invest in some decent gear. It doesn't have to be stupidly expensive, but it can't be a $2 mouse from Walmart. Anywho, so that's number one. Now let's assume that you now have a good mouse, your PC isn't shit, and you have a good mouse pad and you can click somewhat accurately. Number two is learn how to click with accuracy and speed. Now let's imagine you wanted to be a professional soccer player. Are you going to jump straight into a game and just play games 24 seven and think you're gonna improve that way? Of course not, you're gonna drill. You're gonna be doing specific things over and over and over again to improve your skills. We are gonna type in aim booster. And then we're going to head into training and we are going to spend many, many hours in this place. Now I created five custom ones that are specific to RuneScape myself. I'll leave a link to all five of them down below. But before we get into that, we've got to quickly introduce today's sponsor, Manscaped. Now I know what you're thinking. What in the hell is Manscaped? Well, it's for your private parts. You know, those two things that hang down there, your game of groin. Now with Manscaped, you can keep that game of groin smelling nice and fresh every day for any circumstances. Now I've been using Manscaped for a very long time now and I genuinely do love their products. Before Manscaped, I used to use all kinds of different electric shavers that would never do the job right. Thankfully, the current shaver I have is perfect. It's called the Lawn Mower 4.0 and it is from Manscaped. It features skin safe technology to help prevent nicks and cuts. It's also waterproof, it's cordless, and it has a really neat LED light so you can navigate those blind spots with ease. I actually got the performance package, which includes two other products, which I never knew I needed until now. The Bowl Deodorant and the Bowl Toner Spray. And Trust me, they have changed the life of both myself and the missus for the better, if you know what I mean. The performance package also came with a nose and ear hair trimmer. So for you more seasoned gamers out there, you'll no longer have that annoying itch under your nose when you're about to smoke someone for their entire bank. Now, not only does the performance package come with all of the amazing items that I already mentioned, but you get two more free gifts, a shed travel bag and my favorite item by far, the anti-chafing boxer briefs. They are simply super comfy. They're the best things I've ever worn. So what are you guys waiting for? Do yourself a favor and use code panic to get 20% off plus free shipping at manscaped.com your butt body balls and the missus will thank you for it trust me the very first one is all about reaction time or specifically flick reaction time now once you start the idea is pretty much just to well that's bad um flick to the thing as fast as you possibly can and as somewhat accurately as you can and once you finish you'll be able to see your accuracy which isn't too too important your reaction time is what is most important and with all of these it doesn't really matter what your starting point is as long as you're progressing over time and making sure that you're improving over time. Now, the second one is used to clicking in small bunches relative to one tick. Let's say in an NH fight, you have to click your food and then your overhead and then your weapon and then your opponent. Those are several actions that you need to do within one tick for them to register. And obviously you need to make sure that these clicks are as accurate as possible. So that is kind of what you're training for the second one. And again, once you get your score, the number doesn't really matter as long as you're improving over time. And number three, so you're pretty much just making sure that you're as 
accurate as possible anytime you click these little dots. This is not about speed, even though you kind of do want to be as fast as you can. This is all about having total control over your mouse and just being super precise. In this one, you want to make sure that your accuracy is at least 90 to 95%, the minimum. Any lower than that, then you need to slow it down and be a little bit more precise and a little bit more accurate with your clicks. The last two I find a little bit more fun and easier to do. The first one is simple. Just click the three dots as fast as you possibly can, but also as accurately as you can. Similar to the previous game, you want to make sure that you are as accurate as possible anytime you click these. Accuracy between 90 to 95% minimum. That one's pretty straightforward. And then last and probably Probably my favorite one is all about speed. Accuracy on this one is thrown out the window and this is purely a speed based exercise. Now once you've done your first set and you have your hits, give yourself a bit of a recovery just because your hand muscles are going to get quite stiff pretty freaking quickly. Maybe like 30 seconds to a minute and then go again. And then you can always make an Excel sheet and just log your shit over time and making sure that you improve every day. Okay, so now you have good gear and you can click somewhat accurately because you've been practicing. Number three is your in-game setup. From your inventory setup to your client setup to the plugins that you're using. Now, I personally play on stretch mode and this is my game size and this is how big my client is on my screen. Now, this is what I do. Again, you don't have to do this. You can do something that works completely for you. It does not matter. 1013, one of the best players in the game, uses a tiny client. And Mr. Laginarium, who is also one of the best PKs in the game, uses a full screen client. Doesn't really matter just play around with your settings and pick what works best for you next make sure your gpu is turned on and unless you have a potato for a pc increase the fps target this will buff your fps to above 50 and will make your game much smoother and the next super important plugin is entity hider this is so whenever you walk under your opponents you can see what they're doing and yeah, the setting hide local player is the one that makes you disappear. And then if you click hide local player 2D, that'll hide all of your own prayers or your own hit splats. I also tend to use the player outline plugin. It kind of just gives a faint shadow of me. So whenever I walk under someone and I'm like hitting them or doing whatever I'm doing, I can see both my own animation moving and I can see my opponent's animations moving. This gives me a little bit more information of both what I'm doing throughout the fight and what my opponent is doing throughout the fight. And last but not least, the flashing thingy, aka visual metronome. Let's say for example you have like 400 ms. That means you have a super tiny window in between each tick to click. So by having the flashy thingy you can click at the start of each tick. That kind of makes sense. I just need to make sure that I click right at the start of the flash or start of the tick and then it doesn't really matter how much ping I have. Now lastly your inventory. So this is how I have my inventory set up. My switches are always at the bottom. I have my potions at the top and this is just what works for me. Generally speaking top switching is the best but also the hardest to do and bottom switching is the easiest but then also has quite a few disadvantages. If you're quite a good clicker go for top switching. If you tend to be a slower clicker and a less precise clicker then I would recommend going for bottom switching or you could just do middle switching which is kind of like best of both worlds. Our client is set up all our plugins are set up and our inventory is set up in the way that we want to PK but before you go into LMS I highly highly recommend that you work on your combat dummy and simply put whatever you struggle with in game you're going to do that against this dummy. For example let's say you suck at doing three ways on 200 ping. You can add praise into it to make it a little bit more realistic and again this is super personal it doesn't really matter what level you're at everyone has has something that they struggle with or something that they can improve on. Yeah, guys, that is pretty much it. I have a sore throat from talking so much, so I'm going to take a break. Once again, huge shout out to Manscaped for sponsoring this video. And if you have any questions, please let me know in the comments down below. I'll try to reply to as many people as possible. And that is pretty much it. See you guys next time. What are you waiting for? Do it! Yes, I'm real.